I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, we're back on the wheelbarrow again. I have to make a trough. Now, the, we're back on the wheelbarrow again. I have to make a pan, bucket, box. We're back on the wheelbarrow again. I have to make a box for it. I intend to use the top piece of this old fuel oil tank because it's still solid and it's nicely rusted. I think it's a, a smooth even coating of rust. I should be able to cut through it with a plasma cutter and make a nice bottom piece and the front and back ends. I'll be cutting the side panels out of this end of it and I'll be cutting the bottom and front and back ends out of this side. So first thing I have to do is lay it out. For that I'll be using soapstone. I had this soapstone holder and I think this piece, same piece of soapstone for, I don't know, a long, long time, over 40 years. Because this end of the tank is rusted out, I'm going to stay two inches away from the end. I want to have the bottom of the wheelbarrow 24 inches wide. And I've got just 26 inches out here to this spot. I'm going to cut this at 26 and try to make a nice straight line. I want to have an 8 inch rise in the front, an 8 inch rise in the back, 8 inches up on both sides to hold the dirt because this is a planter. This isn't really a wheelbarrow for mixing cement and hauling rocks. This is a planter. So I need to have, it's going to be 24 inches wide. I would like to have it 30 inches long if I've got enough material here. And using a 3-4-5 triangle, I'm checking my square. Eight inches. Six inches. Ten inches. That means that line is 90 degrees to that line. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Eight inches. Six inches. Ten. 
10 inches. Okay, these two lines are parallel and they are at 90 degrees to that line, which is a rough center line of the tank. So drawing down from that line, the same distance, 21 inches, this line should be parallel to that line. I have more than enough steel down here to make two plates 24 inches long, 8 inches high. But I'm going to cut those out after I cut this. I'm going to lay those out after I cut this large piece. Because if I get this right, I'll be able to make them full size. If not, I'll have to adjust them. No point making two cuts if I can get by with one. Now I need to set up a plasma cutter. See if I can slice this thing up. Now this tank was in the backyard when we bought the house. They had it as a trash burner. This hole in the top was where the chimney came out of it. And they had an opening on the other end for putting the material in it. But obviously the bottom half is rusted away to the point where it's no longer there. But I'm gonna be able to salvage I think some really good sheets of steel out of this. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.